What is going on, YouTube? I hope everyone's doing well. We are here, the penultimate day, uh, which I think is the correct word. <laughs> uh, so we're coming to the end of our 12-week challenge. Technically, my last day is tomorrow. So we're 188.0 today, which was awesome to see. Um, goal was 185, but we're not going to hit that. Uh, I don't deserve to hit that just because I didn't put in the effort at times where I needed to be. And like I talked about in the previous video where I kind of messed up the process a little bit and then let things get a little bit out of my control of how I would like. So, you know, it is what it is. No, no failures, no, just uh, lessons learned. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's really going to transpire over the next 24 hours because I'm supposed to have some carbs today and then the end of the process is tomorrow and my uh, after photos uh, I'm going to do and see where we wound up. So, um, uh, yeah, we're going to, I was going to put some carbs back in me today, change up the macros a little bit anyways. So I'm not sure what my weight's going to be in the morning. So we're going to say we got down to 188 uh point zero before we bloated up from our carbs at least so i feel okay saying that um uh i didn't i didn't time all that out too well but it is what it is so but anyways uh i have the next phase of all this um uh, planned out i'll talk about that in tomorrow's video but today we're just going to do some basic training uh in the garage uh, i think i'm going to do some front squats uh, try and do a heavy one because I didn't squat very heavy Friday with the front squat. So, <clears throat> yeah, going to do a heavy front squat, see what we can do, uh, and get this day rolling. So, yeah, looking forward to it. So, going to drink the pre, get warmed up, try and have a good session. What is going on, YouTube? Let's get this day 83 training review footage underway. And it felt good to see 188.0 on the scale. I'm going to count it. The reason being, I didn't manipulate anything last night. I was kind of wondering if I was going to count it because we had dropped uh, a, another pound. So talked it over with one of my friends, laid out, hey, I didn't do anything crazy yesterday. I stuck to the plan uh, and woke up lighter. Uh, what do you think? He said count it, so we're going to count it. If y'all disagree, let me know. But uh, that's what I'm going to say our final weight was for now 188.0 and in the fall we were above 209 so i will take it 20 pound drop um uh <clears throat> no real plan with the training today we just did some front squats had to break out the blur i apologize showing a little bit of skin there i try and be a little bit more put together <laughs> than that but i had no idea so at least i learned how to blur uh in the program so that was cool but again, I apologize. I try to be more put together than that. But wanted to front squat today, just final, you know, end on something relatively heavy. And thank God that we finally figured out the clothing situation here. So we're working up to 175. Everything felt relatively okay. Probably a little bit of momentum from the uh, weight drop, giving me a little bit of energy, but decided to push from the 175. I definitely didn't have the strength to set a PR but I thought if nothing else hitting the final front squat above 200 before we shift gears for the summer go into the next phase of life all that kind of stuff would be something to at least end on so that was the goal and we got it 205 was a grinder so all in all a good front squat session definitely going to have to change my squat plan my knees were just trashed we got to rebuild them i got to figure something out but wanted to just do a super basic leg day just something to keep moving today so i don't fall off the wheels uh and just or fall off the rails so we did some dumbbell rdls we did four sets of this super set that you're going to see dumbbell rdls with some weighted uh Romanian split squats here which these things sucked but four sets of 10 although on the final set I only got eight on the RDLs and six on the split squats so it is what it is a solid training day especially since we've been training hard every day after that came back 
did some more ab work. We did our ab complexes, Roman chairs, uh, hanging knee raises. Then we went out to lunge. We ended today with another solid 250 meters. Looking back, this is where we slacked the most. Should have worked up to doing 400 every day, but it is what it is. Lessons learned, no failures here. Uh, I had to run to the store real quick. That's why I changed clothes here. Looking a little disheveled, had to take care of some business, but we came back home, got that training review and that daily stoic in, and the personal development was done for the day. All right, YouTube, here is a image of my refeed meal. So we've got some chicken tenders, some sweet potato fries, some ketchup, and then we're gonna take three of these dandelion roots. So the process will be putting carbs back into the muscles for tomorrow. Uh, and then hopefully draining out a little bit of extra water throughout the day. So I've already had my gallon of water today. So I'm going to wake up hopefully a little bit uh, drier so we can see kind of what's there physique wise. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> probably a little bit of water manipulation and we'll see. I've never messed with the dandelion root before. So uh, we'll just see what it does. And uh, yeah, we'll see uh, how all this works. So. I'm going to enjoy these carbs, I'm going to eat this for dinner as well, and then for pre-bed meal, if I still want some food, I'm going to have bananas with honey. So, I will see y'all later.